Spring is a big time for Ohio Wildlife Center's hospital and we accept uh, nearly 5,000 injured and orphaned wild animals a year. And some of the animals that we do see in the spring are baby birds, baby bunnies, and baby eastern gray squirrels. Often baby birds will fall from the nest and sometimes this is intentional when they're learning to fly. If they have feathers and the parents are teaching them how to fly, they'll hop out of the nest and if you put them back in, they'll just continue to hop back out. However, some baby birds fall out too soon and this is where you can help. And it is a myth that if you touch a baby bird, the parents will not take care of it anymore. You can touch a bird and you can put it back in the nest if the nest is visible and you can safely reach it. However, if the nest is too high, you can construct a makeshift nest. So using materials that you have around your home, you can use just a Tupperware container or an empty butter dish, and you'll want to poke holes in the bottom to let any um, rain, water, moisture seep out through the bottom. And you'll want to use paper towels. Um, don't use grass or leaves or materials that you find on the ground because those materials can hold moisture and the baby birds can become hypothermic and actually die. So if you use paper towels, you'll just want to line the bottom and make a circle so that there is a little cup and then place another paper towel so that there's a depression because you want the baby birds to be able to sit upright so that the parents can still continue to feed the babies. Now you can place this nest in a bush or you can tie a string around it and hang it from the tree and then you'll want to leave the nest area because the parents will not come back to the baby birds if you're hanging around. So once you hang the nest up, you'll want to put them in the nest and observe from afar. If you wait two hours and you don't see parents coming back to take care of the babies, it's possible that these babies are orphaned and then you will want to bring them to Ohio Wildlife Center's hospital, which is located at 2661 Billingsley Road, which is just north of 270 on Sawmill Road. If you have a nest of baby bunnies in your backyard, it's possible that they are not actually abandoned, but the mother bunny will take care of her bunnies in the morning and in the evening and then stay away from the nest the rest of the day. So in order to tell if your baby bunnies are abandoned or not, here are some tips. First, we're gonna do the string test. A nest of bunnies here, and they'll usually be surrounded by grass or leaves. You'll just take some string and you'll place the string over the nest in a tic-tac-toe pattern and check it after dawn and dusk because what will happen is the mother rabbit will come back and she will disturb the string when she takes care of the bunnies. The flower test is you want to take flour and spread it all the way around the nest in a pretty thick circle. And then you'll want to check after dawn and dusk again for so footprints. If you have outdoor pets that might be bothering the nest during the day, you can take a laundry basket and place it over the nest of bunnies during the day. If no mother is present taking care of the baby bunnies, then it's possible that these rabbits are orphaned and they will need medical attention. So squirrels are cavity nesters. When people cut down trees, they will often expose a nest of baby squirrels. If you find a, a baby squirrel that needs medical attention, then you would just place it in a, a shoe box or a clothes box with some blankets, just enough to keep it warm and bring it to Ohio Wildlife Center's hospital. You definitely don't want to give baby animals any type of food or water because they do have uh, specialized digestive systems and often infant formulas or kitten or puppy formulas will hurt the digestive system of native Ohio wildlife. There are certain species that we are not permitted to take in at Ohio Wildlife Center's hospital. Those species include uh, non-native species as well as other species that are prohibited by law such as coyote or white-tailed deer. You can also call our wildlife information line at 793-WILD and follow the prompts depending on what species of animal you have and we will give you tips on what to do until they can be brought into our wildlife hospital.